Hey everybody, Tim Richards here, 32 Trades, my options trading club, founder of AMI Profits, featured on CNBC for that 28,000% winner that we had. Uh, coming to you today as a quick little update, it's been a great month so far. It's been a great month. It's been a great five months, it's been a great three months, it's been a great two months doing our daily zero DTE SPX credit spreads. Whether we take the calls, whether we take the puts, again, it is what it is. Been a great month. 11%, 13%, 150%. Got to trade the 4140, 4135s 4135 twice on Monday, 43%. Got 100% on Wednesday, sorry, Tuesday, on the 4165, 4160s. And then got to play the other side as we got the drop. Uh, again, same thing over on Thursday or Wednesday, Thursday, boom. It's Saturday, man. Um, I'm getting my days mixed up. It's our day off, but I'm not here to talk to you about the SPX spreads. I'm here to go over what our trade of the week was going into Monday, which was actually, you know, full disclaimer, it was our trade of the week last week prior to the FOMC meeting that we had to roll over into this week for those that were involved and collect additional credit which was even greater than what we're talking about here. Heading into Monday, this was in the emails, credit tra spread trade of the week, QQQs. Aggressively, we're looking at the 301 300s. They closed at 53 cents on the bid on Friday. So that was where I put it out. Everybody that got in got filled in the 70s range as we started the week off. And again, screenshot from the chat room, 920 in the morning prior to the open on Monday. A reminder, that's what we're looking at. If you want to be safer, you can go with the 305, 304, or even go with the 311, 310s. You know, either way, you're still going to be getting a great trade, great credit potential. And as we went into the week, we opened the week with a gap down from on Monday. You know, we opened right there at 30351, and we never broke that 30351, and there was a reason why we never broke it. And then you had Jerome Powell's speech over here on Tuesday, and we got that spike up to 311, and again, never failed on Wednesday, coming back down on that Monday open at 30351. And there was a lot of people that were a little bit scared about this. And then Thursday came around, and you got that beautiful drop down below 30351, and we started to break down below 300 on Friday. Friday, we not only broke down below 300 during the course of the afternoon, looking at it here from the open, but when we came back up to it here at 1 o'clock, then we dwindled down into 230. The 230 algorithm kicked in, and you pushed back up to 300 with just minutes left in the day, and then dropped down to close, as you can see, 299.70. So, Again, I've never used this before, but I'm testing it out now only because I am an absolute novice when it comes to doing videos and presentations. I was born in 72, so I'm not one of you millennial TikTok Instagram video maker guys. But again, just to give you the display here, taking this trade on the Monday, 10 contracts, you've got $300 at risk with a $700 potential a little bit less than 300 there with a 72 cent credit. And as it came in here into Thursday, it started to get back over above break even. You started making money on Thursday. Now, granted, trade of the week, I was alerting this on the Monday. Could have been taken at any point during the week, although you have to have the conviction that I do in my charts and in my data to really appreciate the opportunity that you have in front of you. As we went into the end of the week, as you see there, we closed below 300. These quasi ended the week full credit. Obviously, these needed to be closed unless you were able to take the assignment on the QQQ short. So call it over 200% for those who are able to take that full credit. But the bottom line being, this was a 100% trade for anybody even if you had a wooden leg, and even if you had broken fingers, you still could have typed the trade in. You still could have got it because that's the way we do it. I like the way you do business.